All right, everyone, so let's get started here. So these are really the three components that we're going to need. Uh, these are basically you know, the requirements that you need in order for all this to work. So we need ArcGIS Pro installed. Then we need Visual Studio, which is basically the IDE. Uh, you know, In Python, we use PyCharm usually. We're gonna use Visual Studio here. And then the .NET 4.8 framework. And we need to make sure it's 4.8 because that's what the latest Pro SDK uses. And in addition to that, we actually need the ArcGIS Pro SDK. Uh, and this is pretty simple to install. You kind of install this uh, after you install Visual Studio Code. There's basically a way to install, like they're called extensions. Uh, and that's how you do it. You just do it through the interface for Visual Studio. So let's just go to Google and I'm gonna type in ArcGIS Pro add-in. Um, just ArcGIS Pro add-in. And let's go back to that page I was showing you in the first video build your first pro add-in from scratch. So here, let's just follow their recommendations here. So the prerequisites. So I'm gonna open this in a new tab, Microsoft Visual Studio. And you can see here, it's a Visual Studio uh, IDE and code editor. So we just want to get Visual Studio and not Visual Studio code. So Visual Studio code's a more lightweight IDE that's more geared towards web development. And it's nowhere near as large as Visual Studio. Visual Studio comes with a ton of uh, just tools, whereas Visual Studio is much more uh, streamlined, I guess. So just click this, and th all this is free. So we're going to download the Community Edition 2019. So just click that, and it should start downloading something. Um, so once that finishes downloading, just click this. All right, just hit continue. Shouldn't take too much longer. This is like the pre-install step. Like this, the the actual installer hasn't even launched. This is like just getting the installer ready. But yeah, the whole process probably takes 15, 20 minutes to get everything installed, I'd say. All right, so we're presented with this, which at first is a little overwhelming, but it's basically saying like, you can install Visual Studio with all these uh, other packages if you want. Uh, and we don't want any of this web and cloud stuff. We're not doing Azure or Node or Python development. We just want desktop and mobile. So if we scroll down here, um, you see they have .NET desktop development. So that's what we want to uh, include in our installation. So we're sort of customizing our installation here. So click this and don't click any of this other stuff. We don't need C++. We don't need this. Um, but the only other thing we need to make sure we have is the .NET framework 4.8, like I was saying here. Uh, and I made this mistake earlier when I was doing this. I didn't install 4.8, and it didn't work when I tried to make a pro add-in. So you just need to make sure you click this 4.8 development tools. And, you know, in the future, if you're watching this video, this may not be the latest. So you just have to basically... Um, figure out what version the latest Pro SDK is using and match it to your uh, .NET framework. So make sure you have this clicked and that clicked and then just click install. And it's like six gigs. So this is the part I was saying that could take about uh, 15 minutes or so. So I'm just gonna, uh, you know, I'll probably let the video run and speed it up later. Uh, and then, yeah, then we'll get back to it once this finishes. I think we are finally almost finished installing this. It's been about 15 minutes or so. Okay, there we go. So we're done installing um, Visual Studio Code and .NET uh, 4.8 Framework. So next is the ArcGIS Pro SDK. So let's take a look at what we have here. So there's really two components. We have the Visual Studio Installer, which is this thing. And then we actually have Visual Studio. So we don't need to create any sort of account. So just hit not now, maybe later. 
and I'm going to use the dark theme here. And like, I don't want you to get confused with this vis Visual Studio installer and the actual Visual Studio. So if we type Visual Studio, you'll see there's uh, two entries in here. Oh, actually, never mind. Visual Studio installer. Oh yeah, Visual Studio installer and Visual Studio. So um, the installer is what installed Visual Studio. Okay, so here we have, this is what, how, you know, how you would create a new project. I'm going to hit continue without code right now because we need to install that Pro SDK. So this is what it looks like with just no project started. Just, you know, there's nothing really here. So click on extensions and then manage extensions. All right, and then we're just going to search here for ArcGIS Pro. And we're going to install these first two entries. So pro SDK for .NET, so click download. And then pro SDK for .NET utilities and click download. And then when you hit close, it's actually going to close Visual Studio and install those two components. So just make sure that you see where it says scheduled for install that those two are selected. And then just click close and this is going to shut down Visual Studio. And um, I just want to show you that that's what the the instructions here are saying to install as well. So uh, when we install Pro SDK for .NET uh, installation, you know this is pretty much what I was just showing you how to do. So they just just wanted to show you that 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 is what the instructions are showing us to do as well. So actually, you might need to manually close this now that I think about it. For it to start installing. Okay, so now, now it's installing the Pro SDK, and you know we can close this installer as well. We don't need that. All right, so just hit modify. I know it's a lot of overhead to get all this up and running. <laughs> uh, that's one of my uh, complaints about it compared to just normal Python pro at, or uh, Python toolbox development. This has a lot more overhead, but there's also a lot of functionality that comes with it. So that's a trade off. Okay, so it's complete. Awesome. All right, so now we're ready to actually start checking it out. So let's open up Visual Studio this, and this time we're going to create a project. Whereas last time we just started it without a template, we're going to start it with uh, a pro add-in template, and I'll show you what that looks like in a sec. All right, so we're going to create a new project. And this is where we're going to search for uh, ArcGIS Pro. So if I just, all project types. This, see, this wouldn't be here if we didn't just install the, the Pro SDK extension. So click that. And now this, this is basically like starter projects that they have for us. So we're going to create an ArcGIS Pro module add-in. Make sure you click the one that says C Sharp. I know it's a little confusing. There's like 15 different ones, but we want the ArcGIS Pro module add-in. So click that and click next, and then just give it a name. I'm going to call this, um, hmm, let's just call it YouTube add-in. Actually, YouTube Pro add-in and this will be the name of your actual add-in file uh, just, just I'm gonna leave it in the default location and make sure dotnet framework 4.8 is selected so 
if this wasn't installed, you wouldn't be able to proceed. It would say that th this framework's missing. So that's why I wanted to make sure that you installed that. Uh, all right, and then just click create. All right, and now we're gonna be presented with a lot of stuff and don't get overwhelmed. We're gonna kind of talk about what some of this stuff is. Um, but yeah, this is our pro add-in uh, template. And I think before I stop the video, I'm just gonna show you what, what we have right now. And then in, in the next video, I'm gonna kind of walk through what's going on here. Um, and you know, we'll start get, getting into it. But for right now, I just want you to hit uh, the play button here or the start button. And just make sure it starts and what this should do it, it should launch actually launch pro and we should be able to see um you know whatever this boiler is giving us right now we should be able to see it working um so let's just make sure that that works and then we'll uh we'll pick it up in the next video all right so it's doing a lot of stuff So, you know, I kind of, I'm I'm not really interested in this stuff. It's cool looking, but, you know, I'm not that hardcore of a developer where I need this, this information quite yet. Um, so don't worry about all this stuff that's going on. You don't need to, just don't even think about all this. All right, so you see it's sort of opened Pro up in a development mode. And I'm just going to start without a template just so it loads faster because we don't need a map on the screen right now. So if you start without a template, it's not going to create a project. It's not going to create a file geodatabase and all that. So it's just quicker. So, okay, as you can see, we have this add-in up here. So I'm just going to click it. And you can see that right now there's no button. And that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of videos is actually uh, adding buttons and making them do things. Uh, all right, so if, if you're uh, up, if you're able to do this, you are good to go for the next video. If not, um, if you're having trouble, just leave a comment and uh, I'll try to help you out. All right, thanks.